Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com with Wednesday's practice report. Defensively, the Badgers are starting to hit their stride again. Over the last two games, they've allowed Purdue and Minnesota 17 and 13 points, respectively. Last Saturday, the Gophers managed only 156 yards of total offense. Based on this play, how has it bolstered the confidence on defense? Last week, we played really well against uh, Minnesota. I think we gave up like 105 yards rushing. I'm not sure. I think we held them to under like 160 total yards around there. Um, so it definitely is a confidence booster, and I think confidence goes a long way. If you, if you know that you're going to play well and you, you don't have any doubt and stuff like that, it can really boost, boost your play. During that two-week stretch when we were kind of having some difficult times, we just weren't playing with the confidence that we should be playing with. I mean, we're a talented defense. we got a lot of great players. And I think we're starting to really finally come back into our own like we were in the beginning of the season. There's a thin line between being a starter and a backup on the defensive front. That's because D-line coach Charlie Partridge has made ample use of his rotation, which includes Bo Allen and Jordan Cahoot. How will they stay prepared and ready for playing time? As a group, we just know, I mean, we're big 300-pound guys. It's hard to play every snap as hard as you can go um, and keep up, like, a high level of play. Um, so the, the rotation is really nice because you can play really hard. It just says a lot about our defensive line that we, can, we have four guys uh, in the inside that can play well. And, you know, you're not worried about injuries. I guess it gives us more confidence as a defensive line just knowing that we have four guys who are all, like, you know, really capable players who can come in at any time no matter what. I mean, we rotate every other series, so it shows that Coach Partridge, you know, thinks that we're all capable players. And just in case anybody goes down, too, we got plenty of depth to fill in and also, you know, have guys step up and take over if they need be. Look, it's no secret that Illinois has struggled to score lately. The Illini averaged 34 points per game during their six-game winning streak. They haven't even scored a point in the first half of their last four losses. Nonetheless, they have a very mobile quarterback in Nathan Shieldhouse and an explosive receiver in A.J. Jenkins. What kind of problems will that pose for the Wisconsin defense? Yeah, well, Shieldhouse, uh, I actually played against him in high school two, two years in a row. Uh, my sophomore and junior year, he's from Kansas City Rockers in Missouri. And uh, I learned back then he's a very mobile quarterback and uh, he's got some skills. So we're, gonna, we're just going to try and keep him in the pocket and make him throw the ball. He's, we've dealt with mobile quarterbacks before, though. Uh, Chandler Harnish from NIU, Martinez, Braxton Miller, and then last week even Marquise Gray. And we also, I mean, we deal with a mobile quarter, quarterback every day in practice and Russell. Well, Shieldhouse is definitely a very mobile quarterback. I mean, he's kind of, you know, like a, uh, you know, like a Mike Vick kind of type, just, you know, really likes to take off with the ball, likes to get out. I mean, so as a defensive line, we need to really control our pass rush. I mean, this week we've just been kind of working on our best moves and then kind of just staying, staying aware where the quarterback's at at all times, making sure to close down those escape lanes. And same with Jenkins. I mean, just, a, you know, a speedy guy, powerful guy. They have, you know, plenty of talent on offense and skill positions, and it poses a good challenge for us. That's our Wednesday practice report. We've got a feature on Monty Ball in Varsity, the magazine online, and make sure you'll take a look at Badger Breakdown with me and the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.